think that many of us uh, will easily agree that openness is one of the main values to be preserved on the internet. But I don't think that uh, there's enough depth going on uh, around this thought. Uh, it has to be much more technically grounded. Uh, the human rights approach is undeniable once you state it. But if it doesn't have a traction chain to uh, the technical grounding of what an open internet means, uh, it may easily become too vague to be useful and lead to some serious weirdness. Uh, we need these debates to be technically grounded. We have to go up into the higher spheres of principles about uh, the way that humankind should develop and come down to a technical basis. The end-to-end -end principle, the interoperability principles are key to the way the internet is built and governed and they have to be present in these debates. Uh, it's not just this vague concept of openness that works. The, I'm sorry, the, yes, could I ask There will be, uh, the, I, I have to address a second point here. Uh, security is also being dealt with in, a, in an extremely vague way. Uh, Mr. Vitautas, I didn't get the family name from the Lithuanian defense, has made this very clear. I have a chapter in the book on page 46 where I have explored this issue in depth, there's a time lag of at least two years between what happens outside the IGF and the way it comes in here. I'm revising this figure to seven years with some very basic security principles. We have, again, a need to have more exchange and make sure that there's more technical knowledge infused into the debate.